Welcome to Photoshop Tips from the Digital Transformer. I'm Dennis Dunbar, and in this tip, we're going to talk about how to check your masks to make sure they're working as they should. Whenever I am compositing two or more images together, I like to use a layer mask to control what parts of my layer are showing, which parts of my layer are hidden. Black in the layer mask is going to hide your layer. White in the layer mask is going to allow your layer to show through. You can see here that we've already made a mask for this model so that she can be composited against this background. The question is, how do we get to be such a nice, clean mask? Well, to start off with this, we're going to turn off our pre-mask layer and turn on the original layer. You can see here she shot against a green screen. And this is going to be a big help for us to start off with. I don't always get shot images shot against green screen, but in this particular case, it's going to work really nicely for us. Because there's so much green in the background, and because there's almost no green in her, we can use color range selection to start off our mask. So we're going to come up here to select color range. And you can see here, the selections we have already are working pretty good. If we want to modify this a little bit, we could click on this Add to Sample uh, eyedropper, click around in our image, or click in the preview, either way, and make sure we got all the background selected. But since a layer mask, wherever it's black, will hide the image, and wherever it's white will show the image, we notice here that we have the opposite of what we want. We can solve that really easily by clicking on Invert. So now, it's black. The preview shows us it's black in the areas where we're going to want our layer mask to be black and white in the areas where we're going to want the layer mask to be white. Let's click OK and let it make our selection. It takes just a moment. And now you can see we have our model mask, our model selected nicely while the background is, is not selected at all. If I hold down, if I click on this little icon in here, the add a layer mask thing, we wind up with our layer mask. Now, where we thought it was really pretty good, we noticed there's a lot of problems around the hair. That'll have to be cleaned up in later time, and that'll be for a later video tip. The thing we want to talk about now is how we double check to make sure the selections we just made are working the way we want them to. If we double, if we option click on this in the layers palette, we can see that it brings up our layer mask. Zooming in a little bit here, always zoom in and check your masks. We're going to see that, oh, we've got some stuff coming up here in the white areas where it should be all white. We see some darks in here around our eyes, around our hair. There's a little bit over here in the shoulder. It's not looking too bad, but there's some stuff in there we don't want happening. In the background, for the part we want to be hidden in our blacks, we see all this stuff showing up over in here. That stuff we don't want to have happen either. But overall, it looks really pretty good. Or is it that good? Here's the tip, and here's the trick that you that I'm sharing with you today. If you come over here to Image, Adjustment, and bring up either Curves or Levels. My preference is Curves, but you could use Levels for this. Bring up Curves, and you slide the black point way over. You're exaggerating all the dark values in the mask, forcing them more to, to white. We're just doing this in a preview mode here. But you can see all these little black specks are showing up here. All these represent holes that would allow the, your mask, the background layer, to show through your, your uh, model. And that's something we don't want to have happen. If we slide this back over to here and we now check for the whites for this, you can see all these parts here, these are holes in the black, which are going to allow some of our model layer, our green screen, to show through and muddy up our background. Again, something we don't want to have happen. So this is where the real trick is. Using curves or levels, to exaggerate the values in your mask to see where your problem areas are. Once you see where the problem areas are, then you have an idea of what you need to do to attack it. In this particular case, we have some pretty easy steps we can do. First, we're going to take a look at the black values here. If we look at our curves uh, palette, we can see here the histogram is showing us we have a lot of dark gray values that are ending right over here. So if we bring the black point over just about to here, just past where those values are, we're forcing those values to go to black. Now, if we push the white over about to, say, around here, we're forcing most of these white areas here where we had all the black stuff to go to white. We still have a couple little areas here that need to be cleaned up. There's still some stuff in here that needs to be cleaned up. You don't want to push this too far because that makes the edges of your mask too harsh. We can attack that another time. Let's say OK. 
for this. And now we're going to step through this one more time to make sure that we made the adjustments we thought we needed to make. So we're going to come over here to Image, Adjustments, Curves. Now we're going to slide the black way over. And you see where we had all this black stuff showing up in here before, now we've successfully cleaned it out. We just have these areas in here, really easy to select. We slide this back over, we slide the white way over. We still have some stuff in here we have to clean up. We could use a burn tool, we could um, select it and fill it with, with uh, the paint bucket. We could use a brush tool in some of these areas. There are lots of ways we can do it, but now that we're able to see where we need to work on it, we can work on this stuff and make sure our mask is doing just what it should. And that's what today's tip is. Using the curves or the levels adjustment to double check the values in your mask. By exaggerating these values, you're able to see where your potential problems are, and once you know where they are, you can figure out a way to solve them. That's the tip for today. I uh, hope to catch you for the next one. Thanks a lot.